Hey guys, welcome back to another cosplay tutorial video. I'm the Lady Friend One, and today I'm going to teach you how I made the quiver for my Arsenal cosplay from the TV show Arrow. This is kind of similar to how I made the pouch for Ash Williams' boomstick. Um, so if you want to see more about stuff like that, make sure to check out that video as well. Um, and let's just jump on into it. <music> So to start it off, I'm using 6mm EVA foam to create my base for the quiver that'll actually hold the arrows. I am just kind of making like two round pieces or cutting for two round pieces so I can stack them together and then cutting those with my box cutter. Uh, I did freehand that part. Now I'm just using contact cement and my heat gun to first uh, glue those two pieces into cylinders and then glue them one on top of the other to create the quiver base. Now I'm not going to sand any of this to hide seams or anything because um, it's all going to get wrapped up in pleather since this is just going to be our base like I mentioned. And then I sliced it just to shorten it a little bit from what it was at and also it has an angle um, at the top of the harness so I wanted to make sure I cut at an angle so I would have that too. Now I'm going to trace and cut um, again on 6mm EVA foam a piece that the quiver will actually attach to to make the harness that is used to wear the quiver on your back. Then I'm tracing that, um, the little piece for the harness, I'm tracing that onto the black pleather material and I'm tracing it twice with a little bit of extra to wrap around um, and cover both sides with black pleather. And I am using hot glue to glue it all on for the most part. I do touch up the edges with super glue though later off camera. Now I'm taking some red pleather and measuring out to wrap around the top as trim for the quiver and I'm cutting it and I am hot gluing and also added some super glue to it to secure it in place. Now I'm taking a really small piece of four millimeter EVA foam and just creating kind of a bottom piece. It doesn't have to look nice or perfect or anything. That's why I'm using scrap so that way I can create that bottom to hold the arrows in. Now I'm also tracing some black pleather for the bottom and cutting that out and then hot gluing it to the bottom and having some of the edges wrap around at the base. I don't have to worry about how that looks because it's going to get covered when I wrap the entire thing in pleather, which I do right after this. I wrap the entire thing, uh, hot glue it on. Um, I do use some super glue for the edges and then I kind of cut it at the top and then finish up the gluing there. Now I'm measuring the center because I need to create a little middle decorative piece, which is going to be black pleather wrapped around with red trim to it on the top and the bottoms. So I'm measuring that out on the black pleather and the red pleather, and then I'm actually sewing the red pleather trim tops to the black piece. And then I'm going to go ahead and hot glue it on, but super gluing the edges um, off camera. Now, now I'm soup or I'm hot gluing the quiver onto the harness base. Um, don't do this. I it didn't hold. I had to redo it with super glue. I really recommend super glue for the most part for a lot of this stuff. It gives you a little bit more durability, um, and it won't come apart as easily. Now I'm measuring out the black straps that will go onto the harness that I'm going to cut, and I am going to just fold them over and glue them instead of sewing, just to kind of save some time. Um, I hot glue first the belt straps onto the harness base. I would recommend super gluing. I did also end up later on doing like one notch sewing with like my leather sewing stuff, um, the straps to the base later on. Um, it's a little bit difficult because of that foam piece that's in that base, but it, it helps a little bit. But I would go the super glue route for getting those attached. And then I'm also attaching those buckles. I would also super glue those on as well to the um straps to finish creating the harness and then we're going to take the black pleather that we've been using to line a little bit of the top of the inside not the whole thing just so like when you peek in a little bit you can see that it's lined i'm, I'm not going for the whole thing that's just no uh, but then that's pretty much it that's all you got to do to make this thanks so much for watching this cosplay crafting tutorial sorry if it was a bit of a mess uh if you want to see what we made actually with the finished cosplay make sure to check the links in my description and let me know what your crafting questions are in the comments don't forget to subscribe so you can see what i'm crafting up next Bye bye